Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I am going to be doing one of my classic recipes, one I've been doing with my family for years. I shared this recipe on YouTube, I think about six years ago when I first started. And it was like, I didn't expect it to take off like that. I had so many questions and basically all I was doing was sharing a recipe. So this time, hopefully I can give you some tips and pointers on how to make the best and the crispiest, tasty oven fried chicken. It's no fuss. It's very simple. It's very easy. As a matter of fact, I'm a mother that had five small children and it was something I could get on the table real quick with some corn and broccoli on the side. So, the first thing you want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now, if you're one of those people got one of those old-fashioned ovens, kind of like an older oven like I have, you might want to go ahead and drop it to 375. But I keep mine at three, um, 400 degrees. A nice pan, you know, it don't have to be anything special. Um, so I'm, and I can show you what we'll need. So I have that same pan, this large pan. I'm going to try to answer almost every question I had about the oven fried chicken. So one of the questions, where did you get this pan from? Well, I am an avid shopper and I went to a um, warehouse where they were selling old restaurant equipment. This pan cost me 25 cents. And I got it because I had a large family and, you know, we just need to make sure that we had um, an adequate pan to be able to cook a large meal and get it done. So that's what you would need, just a regular pan, oven at 400 degrees. Um, and um, we're going to start off and I'm going to make this really simple because a lot of people ask me about the seasoning and, you know, the panko breadcrumbs. So... You should be able to find these ingredients in your local grocery store. This is a Frank Red Hot Buffalo Ranch Seasoning. Um, if you don't have that, any ranch seasoning will do. The little packets of ranch seasonings will do. Um, also, we're going to make sure we hit it really good with shake and bake ranch and herb. Okay? And I have a oil spray. And this is an extra um, olive oil oil spray here. I have four eggs. I always take um, as much of the fat and skin off the thighs as possible. So um, I do have them prepared over here. We're going to go ahead on and get started. Have my four eggs right here in the uh, first bowl. What I'm going to do here is just um, before I whisk it, I'm going to add just a couple of things to it. I'm not going to add any salt because I have two different seasons that I'm going to be using and we're going to just go with that. I'm going to add a little black pepper. You know, you can't go wrong with a little extra black pepper when it comes to chicken. So we have that. And to those four eggs, you can probably add about a half a tablespoon of black pepper. I'm also going to add a little um, garlic powder and again I'll say about a teaspoon of garlic powder would do and that's going to be it anything extra I would add that's it and I've also heard questions well can I use um, just regular breadcrumbs of course you can um, but if you use regular breadcrumbs Make sure they're plain if you're going to add your own seasons. If not, then I would, if you get the seasoned breadcrumbs, I would be very careful because it's already seasoned. All right, so we have our egg whisk there. And what we're going to do now is open up this here. Shake and bake, ranch and herb style. Now, in my video that I did earlier, it was um, Zatarain's seasoned breadcrumbs. So, and I've always used regular breadcrumbs or plain um, breadcrumbs to just use my own seasoning. But, you know, hey, we're trying to do what's convenient and easy. And shake and bake has been around a long time. So, we're going to use the shake and bake. And if you don't like the shake and bake, remember, you can always get regular breadcrumbs, okay?
And I will put the link to my earlier video um, where you can actually uh, use that one as well. So we have here our breading station. And so now let me get together our chicken. We have our chicken here and we have our breading station. So I am going to first take the chicken with clean hands and put it in the egg wash. Drain it off. My technique really has not changed. You can see that pepper sticking to the chicken as well as the garlic powder. And then I'm going to take it and put it in the shake and bake. And just kind of flip it over like that and just kind of cover it up make sure it is good and covered let's add a little our buffalo ranch to it I, I added about I'll say a half a teaspoon we don't want to go too much um, just want to get a little that buffalo ranch in there and of course if you want to take a little high and heighten the flavor what do you have to do just add a little red pepper that should because we don't want to have it too salty so I got my chicken hanging out here already. I'm gonna go ahead on and season my pan. Really good. And I'm gonna shake it off. It should be well coated, get the sides and everything. Okay, see how that looks? It's coated really good. And you can even get on there and kind of pat it in and then, but we definitely want to shake the excess off, okay? And we're going to lay it in our pan. I lay it bone up, so that's the one technique I do. Okay guys, and was that so bad? I don't think that was bad at all. And you know, our cleanup mess is not much. That's all we got right there. Um, so here is the chicken that is ready to go in the oven. And we're gonna put that in the oven. Um, what I'm going to do, since I do have some egg wash, I am probably gonna go ahead on and do a couple more pieces. It's hubby. Um, definitely can he would love to have the leftovers so i'm not going to waste that little egg wash i'm going to add to my shaking bake because i don't have any more just some regular um panko bread crumbs or even regular bread crumbs and i'll show you how regular bread crumbs work that way you know you can see that you can use that as well so we'll kind of experiment a little bit why not we can do that and yeah before i set that in the oven let's see so we got a little bit of buffalo ranch left right so it's gonna be not we don't have to worry about too much seasoning because um it's just a little here so what i'll do is i will add some extra of this ranch seasoning to my batter probably about a tablespoon more and i'll whisk that in i'm gonna show you here we're gonna add um garlic and herb this is what i have in my pantry i believe in getting whatever i have out there so we're going to use garlic and herb and garlic and herb is seasoned i think i probably would not add that extra ranch but we want the ranch so as you can see i'm adding that to the chicken and let me just go ahead on and add a good probably a good cup full 
you know, you got to make things work. That's how you do it. And I'm going to get another whisk. Uh, first, I'm going to hmm, whisk my little extra ranch in there. I got so many whisks, y'all. Just pull them out and use them. And now I'm whisking the breadcrumbs together. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna make this work. This is what it's all about. So, I'm gonna get my chicken again and put it over here. Coating it with the regular Progresso garlic and herb breadcrumbs. This is just regular breadcrumbs. So, yes, you can use that too. have my chicken in the pan here it is the light pieces are with the regular breadcrumbs the dark pieces are with the shake and bake okay so it is about to go in the oven but I gotta do one more thing and that's give it a good spray so I just finished spraying it and it's going into the oven oh it can't hold the camera too close let's see if we can zoom oh, there we go that's the chicken guys right there I did not turn it over remember bone up now it's coming out thank you guys so much for watching this video I enjoyed having you in my kitchen today if you like it go ahead and give me a thumbs up share it and also hit the notification bell that way every time I upload a new video you will be aware of it and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.